Alright, now here we go, exiting the Mage's Guild, and finally equipping all our armor. Yay! We actually have protection! Yes. That's what we go for. We finally- So apparently that guy doesn't like me. We just got stronger! <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna head down to the first longer- or the second Fighter's Guild quest, if you count the rats thing as a quest. Which is... Uh, it takes place at the Egg Mine, just south of Balmora, along the Ohe River, I believe. Why are they mining I don't eggs? Know. That's part of what they do in Morrowind. It's a big trade. They, uh, they do a lot of mining. They mine ebony, they mine glass, those, they mine Those things jewels. I can understand. Eggs? Well, the type of creatures they get eggs from live like ants underground. They kind of dig their own little tunnels, that kind of thing, so... Lots and lots of rocks and eggs. Exactly. And here we go, walking through here, they explain to me that my scent is unfamiliar, which is why I get attacked, but they don't. I, well, fine, be that way. So it's a nice way of them to keep all their people alive and still have a reason behind it. But they lie, it's just the hand of God going, no, you must die. <laughs> But uh, part of it here is because the poachers, as we're about to meet them here, have worked in the egg mine for so long, they don't get attacked by the keepers of the egg mine, the little uh, foragers or the warriors, monsters. And that's why they're able to steal the eggs so well. So unfortunately I've run out of charge and the game's decided that it's going to remind me of that every, every time I swing. Your axe skill increased though. Mm. Sometimes you can't just read books to increase all your skills. You have to get your hands dirty. By hitting people with axes. Hi doggy! <laughs> the Kwama worker. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I should have. I should just stop trying. Uh, uh, hey, at least it doesn't try to kill us. <laughs> That's a very nice part about that one. There's so many lanterns around here, but I fear if we steal them, things will ha bad things will happen. You can't steal those ones. They're um, they're fixed to the wall. Oh. Yeah, not like the torches that I still have from the consensus office. But I'm still looking here because I didn't get a journal entry on that, so I'm just making sure everybody knows that I killed those guys. No, my deeds, damn it! But I mean, I I mean, they just got killed, so it's kind of understandable if not everybody's learned right away. Why are these things trying to eat our kneecaps? These are the foragers. They uh. Part of their story is they're the ones that go around outside of the egg mine and look around. They're the young ones. And we're going in the wrong direction. And you just realized this. Yeah. Yep, definitely wrong direction as it shows on the map. I don't want to get into a fight with one of the workers because it's just going to keep me here longer. So I'm trying to get around all the workers and lure this guy into a doorway where I'm not going to hit anyone else. Hopefully we're going the right way now. Curse you, minimap! Why can't you be bigger? <laughs> Door! And we are free! Hooray! And... They've had no problems with missing eggs since I killed those two people, so in the last five minutes, zero eggs stolen. No, I think they should really expand their horizons if, they, if they're <laughs> checking their inventory every five seconds. Well, it just it just adds more jobs for the union. True. 
I, I assume there's a union if they're really keep it, holding on to that job. Oops. Yes. Didn't mean to sell that. <laughs> we want that back. Give it back. <laughs> Ooh. And another part of raising your skills is finding teachers. That's right. So your That's teachers right. will raise your skills. That's right. Always. You should list your teachers. Except if they start trying to touch you in a bad way. You want something? That goes the same for us. You should keep listening to us. <laughs> until we try to touch you in a bad way. This place seems so... large but small. It's... I don't know how to explain the size of it. I, it doesn't take too, too long to walk across the map. But at the same time, when you first set out and you just look at the big world, it's kind of like... Oh man, where the hell am I going, and when the hell am I even going to get there? Five weeks from now. Well, that would have been convenient to know when I set out, but... Now you tell me. Lots and lots of things to sell. Yeah. It's right there, I'm kind of pissed that I don't get the price I want on that limeware. Give us more, so us more! And let's go see if we've made enough of our name of a name for ourselves to start our main quest off. Should be. Well, considering we did stop talking to him, and we're about to start talking to him again. Yeah. Acrobatics increased. <laughs> now we can always do our dream job of being circus performers. <laughs> That's why I jump everywhere I go. I do the same thing in real life, training for the circus. acrobatics effect anyway um it affects your the height of your jumps and oblivion I know it affects your ability to jump in water I think it might also affect how much damage you take from a fall that's another thing do we get the ability to walk on water at any point in this game uh we can cast a spell actually right now to walk on water if we really wanted to because I remember there being like Jesus boots in Oblivion. <laughs> yes, that's actually yeah. that's actually where I got that phrase from. Whenever, really? Yeah, whenever I whenever I would say Jesus boots, it came funny? from when my friend and I were playing Oblivion. We got the we got the stuff that let us walk on water. So we we actually called it. So at least we got something out of that limited experience. Yeah, it's like we we would call it the ref, um the retardable Jesus bar. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm sure we could do the same thing in this game. Only it would look a lot more outdated. Yeah. And we wouldn't have a little green t compass telling us how to do it. That's true. I, I always question how the little green compass knows how to do these things. <laughs> it was one of those things they invented right after letting you see people's names just by throwing your cursor above them. Mm-hmm. Much more convenient than dental records. Like, who needs them? So here we're gonna start heading out of town for our first main quest. Now this guy didn't like me before. So he's gonna I wonder die? if he likes me anymore now. No, he's telling me to get lost. Uh, so you know what? We're gonna so. kill you. Now, I'm surprised I got away with this, because it's so close to town, I would have thought that someone would report him missing. No, he, but, no, he's a dick, so no one cares. Yeah, nobody really likes lizard people in this game, so... I've almost made the world a little better by getting rid of him. <laughs> Racist I am. And we're back off to see Arlie sell some stuff before we start. 